Hi there, today we are going to learn how to post our very first blog post in WordPress Divi. So let's go ahead and open up our website. Uh, we just type in the URL, just the usual one you get to your website, but at the end hit slash WP dash admin. So this will go ahead and load your login. So you're going to populate your email address or username and your password. You can click remember me for next time and click login. If you don't know this information, just go ahead and contact anyone at Roadside and we can point you in the right direction, um, get you the password you need. So once you log in, you'll see that it looks a little bit overwhelming. There's a ton of options on the side, but we only need to worry about posts and then add new. So that's going to load our new blog post. So the very first thing that I like to do is enter a title. Um, we could type in blog tutorial and when we click away we can see that it loads this little permalink right away. Um, you can change your title or link at any time. Um, let's say later we decided we wanted to have, you know, um, steps for a great blog or whatever we want it to be, we can update it and we can also update it here. Um, you know, best tips or whatever we want to do. So don't worry, nothing is set in stone. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go down into this blog post area. Um, there's a couple options. This text one is more for coding, um, like HTML based code. So I think we're going to stick with visual and it's actually really intuitive, really easy. If you can use word or email, you pretty much have got this covered. So we could go ahead and type in, um, what we want to write. Uh, let's say, you know, we have a few paragraphs. Um, after we've written it, or even during, we could go and say, you know, I want to make this into a heading. Uh, I would like this to be bold. I'd like to go ahead and add in a link. Um, so as you hover over these, you'll see what they do. If we want to insert a link, we can just go ahead and type in the URL of, of uh, the page we wanted to go to. Um, let's say we had a bullet list we wanted. We could just go ahead and select those and hit bullet list. So you can see it's very easy to format. Now let's say we had some graphics we wanted to add in as well. Um, you just drop your mouse or your cursor wherever you want to insert your image and you can click add media. So it'll load your media library and you could choose something that is already existing on your site or you could go ahead and upload a new file. So you would just upload and browse to where it is, go ahead and um, open it. So this is loading and while it is, it's just taking a sec, but once it's there, you'll see a little preview and you can just hit insert into post. So we can see there's our image. Um, looks a little small to me. Um, you can click it and you could center it if you wanted to or change the size. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to large. I also want to put a caption on it so we could say, um, this is a print package or whatever you want to say. Um, the other thing is there is alt tags to add for images. And this is really great for your SEO. And it's also great for people who cannot visually see the image. Um, if you can explain what it is, they'll be able to uh, still kind of understand what your image is about if you have a great description of it. So we could write, you know, this is a, a print package showing branding and logo or laptop with screen or whatever words we wanted to put in there. We could also have the image link somewhere else. So we could click custom URL. Again, you could type in whatever email or sorry, whatever website you would like. Once it looks good here, you can just hit update. So see our image did get larger and there is a caption on it now. Uh, nothing is really styled too great, even though it is uh, kind of a preview of how it looks. Um, it's not exactly how it will look. So let's say you got, you know, pretty far along, you want to see how it's going to look on your actual website. So you could go ahead and click preview and that will load in a new tab. We'll just wait for that to load for us. We could see here's our, here's our website. Um, so we have our title, we have our link, our photo links, we have our caption, our bullet list, all sorts of things. So we could go back to our post, just click back to the other tab 
let's say we loved it and we wanted to go live with it. We could literally just hit publish and that is it. Your blog post is out there. It's that easy. Now, let's say you um, wanted to make some more changes. You could easily just go back in here and keep going. Um, let's say you're happy with it. You want to have someone else review it or let's say you need to take a break, come back to it later. You could hit save draft. So as that loads, it'll save the draft and it's saved. If you want to ever get back to it, you would just go to posts, all posts, and you'll see that there is our new blog post right there and it's saved as a draft. So we could go ahead and hit edit and you could get right back at it, typing away, getting it ready to go. Let's say you got the approval or you're happy with it. You could go ahead and just hit publish. And, and that's it. So let's hit publish and we'll see that it actually is going out on our blog. If you wanted to see the live one, you could go view post right here. And that's opening in a new tab. And there it is. There's our blog post. It's out live for the world, ready to go at this URL. You could take this URL and just copy and paste it into a social post or into an email to your patients or however you want to save and share your blog with others. If you need help with marketing or creating your blog posts, please be sure to ask anyone on the roadside team. We're always happy to help. Contact Angela Burns to help your small business grow. This is her direct phone number, so just give her a call.